this is Ellen Osten, Director of Education for Sulky of America, and I'm so glad to have you with me again today. We're, we're doing a quick housewarming or shower gift, and the little waffle weave kitchen towels are always nice to have. I like them too. And so to make these quick and fast, we're going to select a red work design, and we're going to use very, very quick and easy hooping technique, and the KK2000 is what makes that go very, very fast. So I'm going to use Tear Easy as my stabilizer underneath the towel. It's a thin, crisp tear away, and I'm going to lightly spray it with the KK2000. And then I will put this on the wrong side of my towel. And then just finger press the side I sprayed onto the Tear easy, flip it back over, and then as a topper, because you can see that this is an uneven area, to make it smooth and even so the stitches will lay on the surface, I'm going to use our Heat Away Clear Film. One side has a little bit of a bumpy feel to it, so I'm going to spray that bumpy side with the KK2000. Remember, just a little KK goes a long way. And then I'll finger press that into position. And then I am now ready to hoop this. And remember, I've got the tear easy on the underside, the heat away on top. And uh, it's very easy to hoop everything because the KK is holding everything and it acts as one. So at, at this point, then when I get ready to go over to the machine, I'll be using the 40 weight rayon on top and the 60 weight poly light in the bobbin and that way as it's stitching there won't be any distracting white color bobbin thread showing. The 60 weight poly light will match the top 40 weight perfectly. And here we are. We're finished with our design and We'll remove it. Let's see how nicely the heat away keeps the stitches laying on the surface of the kitchen towel. And by using same color thread top and bobbin, we don't have to worry about any bobbin thread showing up and distracting from our design. So we'll get ready to take this out of the hoop. So what I'm going to do is to use an iron to disintegrate the heat away, but in the meantime, I want to go ahead and just trim away the excess. You could also just pull it away, but we don't want to worry about marring the stitches. And then I like to save the little scraps of heat away if I'm doing a buttonhole on a project and I need to support it and all that so I don't throw big scraps away. And then on the back side we have the Tear Easy and the beauty of this is that with these fine stitches as I pull the tear away, away you see how it comes very neatly sharp away without breaking any of these fine rayon threads. No problem whatsoever. So I'll meet you over at the iron and we'll show you how wonderful the heat away just disappears. Well, ooh la la, I have my gift towel ready. And the top was the heat away clear film, trimmed away the excess heat away, and then I used the medium hot to hot iron to iron that away instead of normally I would have to rinse a water soluble way but since this is a gift I've used the heat away pressed it off and I don't have to wait for anything to dry so again this makes it very very easy very quick but one thing to remember the heat away clear film if you're using fabrics that have a pile to them very thick loopy that type of thing test first because the towel worked very nicely because it, even though it's a waffle weave, it's on the smooth side. So anything with a deep nap, a deep pile to it, double check so that the heat away doesn't get stuck down into the, to the loops. In that case, you'll want to use a water-soluble stabilizer.